This is my female Burmese python enclosure. It's in my basement, and it's 15 feet by 6.5 feet by 7 feet tall. And yes, that's me climbing into it. And you may be wondering, what was I thinking? Now this is my snake, Lagertha. She's only 10 months old and 5 feet already. Now eventually she'll hit 12 feet and perhaps beyond. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I build it, along with some other pretty cool features of this enclosure. So this took about four months from planning to the end of execution, and that was working pretty much every single day. And also, I can make it thunderstorm. Now, in case you're wondering, that is not real rain. And it's also not edited afterwards. It's actually coming from a projector. Now, of course, I'm not going to torture the snake and ever use this really when it's in it, but I thought it would be really cool. And there's some other ideas I have as well. So keep watching if you want to see exactly how I built this thing. So before this, I've hardly ever built anything with my hands. My carpentry experience didn't extend beyond building a simple wooden box years ago to store my guitar pedal board in. So I've been wanting to challenge myself with something new. So Epic Snake Enclosure. This here is SketchUp, a 3D modeling app that's great for creating builds. I learned how to use it and this is what I came up with about five months ago. And now here's a series of pictures with a few videos mixed in during the development process. Now, I did work in a drain, as you saw, but unfortunately, as you're about to see, it had issues when I first tried to add water. Um, this here is concrete, um, and I had somebody put it in. Unfortunately, they used the wrong sealer over it, which I'll have to take off later on. And here is that unfortunate leak. Not cool at all. So what I had to end up doing, it was leaking all over the place, is I uh, capping that drain off and then in the future, I'll just have to use a pump to pump the water out. Now here's the rock wall, which I got from universalrocks.com. Um, it's actually pretty thin, but it was still 150 pounds, so I had to have help from my family to put it up.
go. Oh no, that's not good. It's getting outside, watch out. And that is it. I still have to wait for the heating panels and the glass to be installed, hopefully in a couple weeks, and then she'll be able to fully move in. So follow me on Twitter because I'll post pictures once she's all in and in the future when she grows. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.